Hey guys, it's Sandy. So I'm gonna do some question and answers today about intermittent fasting. Um, next video, I'm gonna do what I promised and how to break your fast, what foods to break your fast with, what not to eat to break your fast, and then what not to eat as your last meal of the day also. So I'm gonna do those, but for now I wanna answer these questions because I get a lot of the same questions and I know that if half of you are asking them, then the other half is wondering them. So let me go through these pretty quickly. Um, these are the ones that I've been asked the most. So, oh, and first of all, I put this shirt on and I should have, I looked through pictures, I couldn't find a picture, but I could not button this shirt before. And now it's plenty loose and on me because my clothes fit comfortably again. I feel so good and it feels good to get back in your clothes. I'll tell you that too, comfortably. That I wasn't comfortable with myself. So now I am, but I couldn't even button the shirt. I would just put on a tank top and put this shirt just open, which I can still do. But the point is I can now button my shirt again and feel very comfortable in it. Okay, so one question I've been asked quite a bit is, how tall are you, how old are you, and how much did you lose? So I am 5'3", I'm 51 years old. When I was 50 is whenever I started putting on the weight. I knew my hormones were changing, I knew my metabolism was changing. I know that happens for people at different ages and stages. So you might be in a different age when this happens to you. But everything I was doing was not getting the weight off. I knew how to and it didn't work. So I had to do something. When I turned 51, that was it. I was done, I was ready to um, start intermittent fasting and sticking to it and it worked. So I have lost, um, and a lot of these pictures that you're seeing of the before and after, I've lost 12 pounds. Now I've lost 13 and I feel very comfortable. The thing is, you're looking at these pictures and not only have I lost weight, but I have lost a lot of inflammation. And I just think if you can see the inflammation gone in my face and on the outside, then think about what the inside looks like, how much better that is. And it's probably why I feel so good. I have energy, I'm sleeping good. My thumb, I've told you before, had arthritis in it. It's barely hurting now. It only hurts sometimes. And so I'm feeling so much better on every level. Um, and, and I know some people have said 12 pounds, that's nothing in all those months. But my body, I didn't need to lose 50 pounds. So I was able to lose what my body needed. I'm sure it'll take a few more pounds off, but you know what? And let me tell you this, stop looking at the scale and measuring everything by the scale. It's a lot easier to feel what your clothes feel like on and when they start getting looser. And that's what I wanted was to feel comfortable. I don't really care what a scale says. I say that because it's a measurement that I can share with you, but I feel comfortable in my clothes and comfortable in who I am and my own skin again. And I do this because of health. I want to be healthy. I want to feel good. I want to travel with my husband. I want to enjoy my kids and my grandkids. I want to have energy to get up and go and do whatever I want during the day. And I want to have energy to exercise. So that's why it's really important to me is for my health. But the benefits beyond weight loss are just amazing when it comes to intermittent fasting. Okay, so another big question is, can I take my vitamins during a fasted state? Um, no, just move them. I just moved mine to my first meal of the day. And you know what, honestly, most vitamins and supplements actually work better when we do take them with food. They're absorbed better whenever we take them with food. So unless it's something that says you have to take on an empty stomach, just move it to the first meal of the day. And then also medicines, asking about, can I take my medicines during a fasted state? Take your medicines. I'm not on any medicine. I used to be on thyroid medicine years ago and I was able to get myself off of it and stay off of it. So I don't have any medicines to take, but I'm telling you, take your medicines and do whatever the doctor told you to do. Take them the way that he instructed you to do them. Medicines are important to take. And if you're sick, Take medicine, don't worry about any fasting stuff, get better and then you can get back onto it. Um, oh, do I break my fast when I brush my teeth? I was asked a lot. Probably not. Um, I use a mint toothpaste, you can use a cinnamon toothpaste. If you use something that's really sweet or has some sweetener in it or a bubblegum flavor or cherry flavor or something like that, then you might be breaking your fast. Okay, I have to stop for just a second because this girl, <laughs> no, 
God, she's sitting at my feet crying. So I had to pick her up for a second and say hello to everybody. <laughs> That's Josie. All right, Josie, gotta be quiet. I did not with the toothpaste that I use. Um, but if you brush your teeth and then you feel kind of shaky about 20 minutes afterwards, then you might be breaking your fast. And in that case, you need to probably change toothpaste, go to something unflavored or something like that. So how long did it take you to lose the weight? Well, it wasn't fast for me. Um, that's why I tell you guys, stick with it. I had read a book called Fast Feast Repeat by Jen Stevens. I highly recommend it. Um, I read the book and nothing was really happening for me. I mean, for I told you guys before, I was hungry in the beginning. And those first two weeks, I was dirty fasting and it made me more hungry and nothing was happening on the scale or anything. And I was doing it wrong. So whenever I switched to a clean fast, and I did a video on that, if you wanna go back and watch that video, it's important, in my opinion, to just do the clean fast and do zero calories. You don't have to then question, is butter okay? Is stevia okay? Is um, a little bit of cream, like 50 calories of creamer okay? Or that kind of stuff. I just did the clean fast and that's when my, everything started to change. My body started to change and how I felt started to change when I did a clean fast. But I have to tell you those first two weeks I was hungry until I got onto a clean fast and until my body adapted and nothing was moving on the scale. So some of you guys are sharing your experience, which is really good. Keep doing that because it encourages others. When they read your comments, it encourages everybody. And also ask questions. The only way we can learn is by asking questions. Put your questions in the comment uh, comments so that I can see them, so others can see them, and we'll answer those questions. But if you don't ask, you're not gonna learn. So um, the first two weeks, nothing happened for me. <laughs> and then even the third week, I started to notice I really was feeling a lot better. I was having a lot more energy. I could tell that for sure. Um, but my clothes started fitting just a little bit different. And then at four weeks, they really started fitting different. And I went back and I read the book again at one of the chapters because I thought, am I getting something wrong here? Like this is not even working. And I read what she said and one particular part really hit me. And she said, trust the process. It does work. And I was like, okay, that's what I need to do. I just need to trust this process. And if I had given up at week three, because I really wasn't seeing a whole lot of movement, I would have missed out on all the amazing benefits along with the weight loss and inflammation loss. I feel so good and I would have missed out on that. So I'm encouraging you, don't quit. Give it time and trust the process. Just like as Jen Stevens says, um, it does take time. This is not a fad diet. It is a lifestyle. The weight will come off, but it doesn't come off at 10 pounds a week like some crazy diets do, and you don't see this massive weight loss. And if you do, those are the kind of diets that once you eat like a normal person again, you're gonna put the weight back on. So um, trust this process and work through it. And if you might be somebody that has dieted a lot in the past, and you might have what's called insulin resistance or um, some problems with your metabolism, you can work through that. It can get better, but you're not gonna see major weight loss. And um, look up insulin resistance if that's something that you think you might be dealing with also. Um, so how long, I have been through this process for five months. I started in August when I turned 51 and I said, that's it. And I started intermittent fasting and then nothing was really happening. And then it did. And things started really changing in my body. The way my clothes fit, the way I was sleeping, everything started changing for the better for me. So in five months, I've lost 12 pounds, 13 now. But, uh, and you know what, weight can change in a day. You can gain three pounds from morning till evening. So don't be jumping on the scale all the time. Use your clothes. Your clothes will tell you. I can button my shirt now and have plenty of room. I feel good in my clothes. That's why I want to really share this journey with you and encourage you because this can help you also. Um, oh, how do you get through your fast in the morning? I'm so hungry. Well, First of all, are you using a clean fast? Because that's really important to do a clean fast. That's when it all changed for me. And I had to stay busy. If I was just looking at the clock, then it was, it was never moving. And then I was like, oh, I'm so hungry to get there. And then all of a sudden though, one day your body will adapt and you won't be so hungry anymore. And let me tell you the other thing. If you're hungry, hunger doesn't kill you. I mean, 
If you're really shaky or you're gonna pass out, eat. Do not wait, eat. But you can be hungry for a few hours and be just fine. But the thing is, if you're hungry, what your body's saying is until you get to your, you know, your fast, your um, breaking your fast day. I do 16, eight. So 16 hours of fasting, eight hour window of eating. So if I'm getting hungry at like 14 or 15 hours and I don't want to eat yet, my body is saying, Hey, I'd like some food over here. And I'm saying, Hey, I'm not giving you any. And your body says, well, I guess I'll just have to eat your fat which is what you want between 13 and 18 hours is when your body starts switching into fat burning mode. So when you're feeling that little bit of hunger, why don't you think of it as, um, okay, body, go ahead and start burning that fat off my thighs or start eating that fat. Um, because that's what it's doing is it's starting to burn your fat. So that little bit of hunger is okay. Like nobody dies from a little bit of hunger from being hungry for a few hours. Um, except for, I'm telling you, eat if you're starving. <laughs> if you're going to pass out or if you're getting super shaky, that's your body telling you to eat. Don't worry about some time frame of 16 hours. This is a flexible thing. If you um, eat late one night, just the next day, get right back into your intermittent fasting. Don't worry about it. This is not a diet. You don't have to worry about what you eat. And on that, that note, somebody asking me, quite a few people asking me, do I eat low carb? No, I do not personally, but that doesn't mean it's, it's okay, like it's okay for people to do that. Many people have had wonderful success with eating low carb and intermittent fasting together. It burns it even quicker, which might've been following my problem. <laughs> Why I wasn't uh, losing weight quickly um, because I still was eating bread and potatoes and everything else, which I still do because I like that stuff. So I didn't want to change. I wanted to still eat. I had to find a way. How can I lose weight and still um, eat and still enjoy eating, enjoy food and eat until I'm satisfied? So that's what happens in that eight hour window. I'm not hungry. I am not deprived. I enjoy food. I enjoy what I eat. If I want a cookie, I eat it. I just don't have one every day. Um, but I eat and I enjoy it. So this was the best of both worlds for me because I was able to lose this weight, lose this inflammation, start getting so many other benefits, share this journey with you because I know it, it can work for you too, but I could still eat food and not be deprived. And um, let me tell you though, the, a lot of the different people that have said on here, I eat low carb and I feel wonderful. Do that then. If it makes you feel good, this is, this is a personal journey. Do what makes you feel good. It's really about the time eating window. Now, if you're eating processed food and you're drinking pop and all that, you're probably not gonna have good results. You still have to choose better food, but you can eat and enjoy food. Okay, I hope this was helpful. I promise the next time I'm going to do the video on what to break your fast with, the foods, the best foods for that, what not to break your fast with, that kind of thing. That's what I'm gonna do on the next one. But I wanted to answer these questions because I'm getting so many of them. And please, please, Keep your questions coming because that's how all of us learn from each other. Um, if that's how I learned in the beginning is I had to look up a lot of questions to figure out what I was doing. Okay, you guys, until next time, I'm out.